Hey YouTube, this is a review of the Estee Lauder Pure Color Eyeshadow Eyeshadow Singles. Um, I've mentioned them uh, in my CCO haul. I have I bought several and I said I really like them. Just wanted to do a bit of more of an in-depth review of them because uh, they're not really all that widely reviewed on YouTube, I think, which is sort of a pity. Um, I really, really like these. I think they're they're beautifully textured. Uh, they're very silky. They're pigmented, um, very pigmented, and they go on really beautifully. And one of the things I really like about them is you can really pack them on and there won't be any kind of fallout. Like you can really get the color nice and intense. You can use just about any brush. Um, you don't need to use, for example, like a stiff shader, shader brush to get it on the lid. You can use a fluffy brush of any kind. You can use a, you can use a blending brush, for example, and the, the color will be nice and intense and beautiful. And you can do multiple layers, and there won't be anything to clean up under your eye because they are super pigmented, very tightly packed, and they don't pick up a lot of product with every swipe. So you'll be getting a really lovely color payoff, but there won't be any kind of mess. Um, as a result of it. Um, I think that one of the reasons these aren't more popular is um, the general color selection in the just the pure color range. Um, these have I think roughly maybe 30 colors, I think maybe 31, 32. Uh, by comparison, MAC comes in about 130 and that's not even counting like the limited edition or the mineralized shadows or any kind of other, you know, variations. And um, the palette itself is quite neutral, so you'd be really safe pretty much reaching for any color and slapping it on and go out during the day, but um, there aren't a lot of selection, even though the neutral shades are gorgeous and all the shades are beautiful, like um, all the neutral shades, all the light and neutral in pinks, in lilacs, in, in gold, peach, they're all just gorgeous. There's not a lot of really darker, deeper shades, and absolutely no crazy psychedelic ones at all. So I think the darkest shade that it comes in is called Mink. It's um, a purplish, grayish color, and it's gorgeous, but it doesn't really, I mean, you can sort of, you know, you can probably use it as a crease color, but it doesn't come in any kind of matte black or anything like that. And also, um, it doesn't, even though it doesn't, um, as you can see, the colors themselves, I just, I just love the colors, I think they're so beautiful, um, there's uh, no matte colors either. I don't find it to be that much of an issue because the it, does, it doesn't it does have any kind of chunky, sh chunky glitter or anything like that. It has sort of um, the shadows and stuff sort of, sort of a sheen to them, so it doesn't jump out at you, doesn't look crazy. Um, doesn't look overly shiny. It just looks, you know, like the color has depth to it, and I really, really like that. But there aren't, aren't any um, matte colors, and some people might find that um, to be an issue. So um, these are excellent, excellent workaday eyeshadows. If you're looking for um, basically not, if you're not looking, these are good workaday eyeshadows, they're good for daytime looks. These will not work really well. There's just not that much intensity for a lot of nighttime looks, I think. So um, these are like, um, you know, good to slap on if you're looking for neutral shades, um, like sort of will work with any kind of skin tone, work any color eyes. But if you're looking to really, you know, sort of go clubby or you know sort of create an exotic look blues greens all that stuff um you'll probably just the shade selection will will disappoint you so um i just want to do a quick rundown of the shades that i have um this is um smoky i'll do a quick swatch of them this is what it looks like um this is gilded goddess See. Um, Ginger Drop, which is actually quite similar to Gilded Goddess, but um, a slightly more shimmery color. You can see this is uh, Ginger Drop. Um, 
this is bronze goddess <laughs> yeah the co they aren't created really all that creative with the naming so this is like one of the deeper shades it's chocolatey brown with gold undertone and one of my favorite colors which is uh, butter just nice gold um, it's great for like an all over wash or a highlight color just really really beautiful so um these are the colors as you can see sir kind of i hope anyway um these are the colors that i own and um i use them a lot these are actually more expensive than the mac shadows um these i think cost 17 dollars in the us each one costs 17 um, mac costs 14 dollars or 14.50 i'll um i'll have the the price and the links on the sidebar but you also get more you get 0.07 ounces you get 0.04 and um these are more pigmented i think these will last forever so um and that's it with the uh, the review of the of the Estee Lauder Pure Color Eyeshadows. If you have any questions, comments, or requests about this product or any other, please um, leave a comment below. Um, thank you as ever for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.